Hi, it's Marcy at Geode. I'm here today to offer some chair poses. So anybody that's working tirelessly from home in front of the computer or um, Zoom conversations as such as am I, uh, I would like to offer some stretches that you can do from your chair or if you're still at work, um, even in your cubicle to help release some tension in your hips, your neck and shoulders. So we will begin standing next to our chair um, with a mountain pose. So if you're unfamiliar with an extended mountain pose, bring your big toes to touch, slight space between your heels. Take a deep breath in, lifting through your chin and your chest and bring your arms up, lifting through your heart and your torso and then relax your shoulders, draw your elbows in around your ears. Now anchor your tailbone down. So pulling the belly in, really getting grounded, feeling the support of the earth and just taking a moment to reside here. Take another deep inhale. And then exhale, come to a chair pose. So let's sink back into our hips. So anchor your tailbone down again. See if the top the crown of your head and your tailbone can be in parallel. So anchor your tailbone down, draw your belly in. It takes the weight out of your low back. Your arms are by your ears. Now make your toes light. So by sinking into your heels, maybe squeeze your inner thighs together if that helps your stability. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. So feel free to stay here as long as you want, or you can come back to a mountain pose. Inhale, and then exhale, come to a seated again, as many times as you feel comfortable. Take a breath in, come back to stand. And then exhale, let's release our arms, and then reach for the back of your chair Holding onto your chair for stability, bring your feet hip width distance apart for press ups. We're going to come up onto our toes and hold. You can do it for the count of five, count of 10, doesn't really matter. Wherever you're comfortable, then release your heels back down. But then I invite you to come all the way back up again. Hold three, two, one then release. Maybe we could repeat this five to eight times. So coming all the way up and hold for six, five, four, three, two, one, release. Come all the way back up, hold. Really pull into that calf muscle, really feel the engagement of the muscle to bone. Draw the belly in, fire in the thighs, slowly release. Take a breath in, come all the way back up and hold three, two, one, exhale, release. Let's just do this one more time. You can feel free to repeat this as many times as you like. Hold three, two, one, and then release. Now for an easy back bend, interlace your fingers behind your head and your elbows are wide. Then allow your head to just fall back into your hand. So you're supporting your head with your fingers. Draw your belly in so that anchor your tailbone down, lifting your gaze and your chin towards the ceiling. Feel free to play with this. See if you can go just a little bit more or you don't have to, just find a sweet spot. I like to pull up with my thumbs on the lower part of my skull. I feel like it elongates my spine a little bit. Take a breath in, come back to stand. Exhale, let's do it one more time. <sighs> Lifting chin or chest, just relaxing your head into your hands, supported by your fingers. Inhale, let's come all the way back to stand. And then let's come to stand with our feet hip width distance apart. So let's do a few hip circles. So let's just begin clockwise, soft bend in the knees as you just begin to rotate your hips around. You can go as wide or narrow as you feel. Just listen to your body. I have hip problems, so sometimes going too wide on these really irritates my left hip, so I have to be very mindful. Let's do this three more times. And as much as you push back, push forward. So really get a nice stretch in all directions. Then let's begin to go the opposite, counterclockwise. Soft knees, totally rotating in the hips, trying to maintain your position of your upper body 
in the same place and just fully engage in your midline. Two, three more. Good job. And then for a tree posture, place your left hand on the back of your chair and shift your weight to your left leg. Now just begin to bring the ankle, the foot, the bottom of the right foot to the ankle, wherever you feel comfortable in trying this posture for balance. So I would like you to lift your kneecap on the left side to fire in your thigh, really lift through your torso. And if you'd like to begin to slowly bring your foot up, even maybe into the highest posture. They used to say, don't put it on the knee, but if you fire through your left thigh enough and really engage that thigh, you're protecting your knee. So a drishti stare is a fixed object in the room. It's what we call a yogi stare. So find something um, in front of you. I like to look directly down my nose, so it's typically right above my mat. I find that if I see people in my peripheral, I will lose my balance. And if you'd like to try a full posture of tree, feel free to place your palms together. I would just suggest that you lift your heart, stay fired up in this left thigh and this hip area for strength. Or if you're here today and you just wanna hold on to the chair for stability, that's fine. No label, no judgment. Draw your knee in and then release your right leg. So then reach your right hand for the top of your chair. Again, lifting the right kneecap, firing into the right thigh, switching on those thigh muscles, and then just begin to slowly bring the bottom of the left foot to the ankle, to the calf, wherever you're feeling the most balanced today. Maybe today you're not balanced. Life is very unbalanced at this moment. Fire into that right thigh, lifting through that right hip, the heart. If you'd like to try to let go of the chair, find that drishti, yogi stare. And find quiet. I love tree pose when I'm looking at these trees. Every time. Begin to slowly draw the left knee forward and then release maybe even shake out the right leg. So there are two options for this down dog with a chair. So if you would like to hold on to the top of your chair with both hands and then just begin to walk your feet out and then drop into your shoulders. So I invite you to have a slight bend in your elbows. So externally rotate your shoulders. Now the focus is on the lower body. So draw the belly in towards the spine. You should immediately feel the weight dump coming out of your low back. You can keep your knees bent slightly, but push your hips back. So you should feel a nice hamstring tie-in glute stretch here. There's a lot of sitting going on. This is pretty incredible pose. Draw your belly in again, resisting and focusing on the hamstring area. So try to take the weight out of your shoulders by bending your knees slightly or your elbows rather. Now you could go a little bit deeper with this if you want to come around and reach for the low part of your chair, same thing, walk your feet back, drop your head, maybe even more of a bend in your knees, but you will feel a deeper stretch, belly in, taking the dump out of your low back. Take a breath in, exhale, sink. More time, breath in. Exhale, sink. Slowly begin to lift by walking your feet back towards your chair. And then let's come to a seat and work on shoulder shrugs. So you're gonna to come to the edge of your seat. So I want you to roll your shoulders back, dropping your shoulders in your back pocket. Now feel free to just let your arms dangle by your side. Now I want you to draw your shoulders up so belly and chest are lifted. Take a breath in. Try to touch your shoulders to your ears and then exhale, push down. Really reaching your hands for the floor, really drawing the shoulders away from the ears. Belly is drawn in. Try to keep the crown of your head and your body as vertical as you can. 
Inhale, lift your shoulders. Trying to reach for your ears, shrug, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Take a breath in. Exhale, draw your shoulders away from your ears. Maybe even reach your left and your right hand. Maybe even reach your right hand and then drop your left ear to your left shoulder. Come back to center, dropping your right ear slightly, reaching your left hand down towards the floor. Come back to center. Let's do one more of those. Inhale, lifting the shoulders and your chest. Take a breath in, squeeze. Hold, 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 hold. And then exhale, push your shoulders away from your ears. Really elongate that spine. Good. Now let's reach for the back of our chair for um, what we call a fan pose. So when you're on the edge of your seat, be sure that your feet are directly under your knees and then just lean forward slightly. So you're bringing your chest towards the front and really you're feeling the stretch in your shoulders, but you're also drawing your shoulder blades together. So you're widening through your collarbone. A lot of times when we're like this in front of the computer, this is a great alternative stretch. If you wanna go deeper, see if you can go a little bit higher on your chair. Just try not to tip in your chair. So push through your feet at the same time, bringing balance. Take a breath in and then exhale, let's release. Now let's work on some rib circles. So staying on the edge of your seat, you can place your palms on your thighs. We're gonna rotate our ribs. So we're gonna rotate clockwise. So just imagine yourself like you're in a barrel and you're just scraping the inside of the barrel. So your hips are stable, your head's somewhat stable in the same position too as you're rotating. So now go a little bit deeper, chest way forward. Now try to sink like a cat cow as you come around. So try to make your circles bigger if you can. If you can't, that's fine. If your circles need to be small, that's good too. Getting that rotation. And then let's begin going counterclockwise. Again, scraping that barrel. Everything is stable, but the ribs are moving. The head is somewhat even in the same place. Two more. Very good. Now, press, sit back just a little bit midway on your chair, reach your right hand for uh, the bottom of your right, right side of your chair. And then inhale, lift your left arm up. And then let's just bend slightly to the, into the right arm as we reach the left arm up and over our ear. And then see if you can take a gaze up and under your left arm. Feel free to go as deep as you can in this posture. If you need to bend your right elbow more to get a deeper stretch. Inhale, exhale, drop the left hand down, reach for the bottom of the chair on the left side. Inhale, lift the right arm up, and then take a nice stretch, bending in the left elbow, bringing the arm by the ear, take a gaze up and under the right arm. You should feel a nice oblique stretch. I did some oblique workout yesterday, so I am really feeling the stretch today. Take a breath in. Exhale, release, and then feel free to do as many of those as you want. Um, and then stay, remain seated in this posture, but reach your right hand behind the, for the reaching for the, back, um, for the back of your chair and then place your left hand on your right leg. So right hand back, left hand on the right leg, and then begin to twist. So I would like your shoulder to open, but your body to stay very vertical in this posture. And maybe even see if you can turn your head towards your right shoulder. A nice thoracic, thoracic spine stretch. Drawing your belly in, take a breath in. Exhale, see if you can go a little bit deeper using stabilization with this left hand. Inhale, come back to center. Let's bring your right hand to your left leg, reaching the left hand for the back of the chair. Take a breath in. Exhale, let's twist to the left side, looking over the left shoulder, really finding stabilization with the right palm. Take a deep inhale. 
Exhale, twist a little bit more. Good. Inhale, let's come back to center. Let's take the feet wide. So be sure that you're seated comfortably on your chair and that you're not sitting right on the edge. So for a wide-legged forward fold, we're just gonna begin to release our fingers to the mat and then just drop your head and your arms and just feel your spine elongate. So draw your belly in and then see just how relaxed you can get your head and your neck. If you would like to try to interlace your fingers behind your head to really elongate your spine, sometimes I like to put my thumb around my jawline. Inversions are incredible for your mental health. It flushes a lot of the glands, the pineal gland, pituitary, and actually can open you up for some creativity. Fully believe in inversions. Release your fingers and then slowly roll all the way back up <clears throat> for another hamstring stretch. Let's come to the edge of our seat. Extend your feet out, your toes flex towards your shins, lift your chest. Take a breath in and then exhale. Just begin to lean forward with your chest, holding on to your chair, using your chair as an anchor. See if you can just press your heart a little forward more, really flex those feet towards your shin. Just pause for breath. Slowly come all the way back up to seat. Now this pose is challenging for me because I have very short legs, but this is called a seahorse. So you shift your weight so that your, your sideways on your chair. So you're gonna maintain your left leg on your chair and your foot <clears throat> rather comes flat in front of your chair. Now you're gonna drop your right knee down and extend your right toe. So we're kind of looking like a lunge here. So normally your knee would probably touch the ground because you know, you're tall. I am not. So sit up straight and then start to slightly lean back so that you feel a nice quad and hip flexor stretch. I can still feel the stretch even though my knee is not on the ground or not touching the ground. Inhale, slowly come back up, brace your foot and then switch sides. So plant the right foot, the right hip stays on the chair, the left hip comes off the chair, dropping the knee, extending the toe. So coming into a nice lunge, check your alignment so that your knee is directly below your hip and holding on to your chair for stability, just begin to slightly lean back until you feel that nice quadricep stretch and deep into the hip flexor and so as. And then slowly come back up to seat. So that concludes uh, my quick session for some chair postures to help you get through the tension of the day with the shoulders, the chest, the ribs, the hips, and so much sitting. And if you're a beginner to yoga or um, if you're up there in age and you're not sure where to begin a practice, try these few options that we, we've shown you today. Hope to see you soon. We miss you. Thank you.